it's your girl Sam Manuel and I am headed to get a pub sub. I just woke up and yes it is one o'clock in the afternoon. Who's keeping track of time anymore? I am going to get a pub sub. I always wanted to mount my GoPro on my car. I haven't recorded a video in a week so I Publix. I was in line and this lady goes, is that good? It's a pub sub, one. Two, it's a chicken tender pub sub. Let's be honest, it's banging. The smallest parking lot ever. Yet no one knows how to navigate it. Girl studies degree is a... God, people are fucking disappointing. It is a gloomy, gloomy Saturday here in Miramar. Oh, I just said where I live. And, uh, I'm hungry and pub sub is the answer for today. Oh, I locked myself in. I was gonna get a half a pub sub, but we all know that would have not been pleasant. Maybe this will turn into a review of said pub sub. Who knows? Anything's possible. Hey guys, it's your girl Sam Manuel, and yes, Halloween did come early this year. Disclaimer, this might be a very boring and emotional video. Um, that's why I'm doing a face mask because it makes all my problems go away. Last weekend, I went to California. I saw Disneyland, which I'm very excited about. I did not take any videos or photos or anything like that. I took some photos uh, because I like to live in the moment. I'm just gonna put a little bit more on. I'm gonna review this mask for you today. It's a Target brand. It's supposed to be a peel off, but we'll see. It's considerably cheaper than the ones that you normally see that are like $10 or $12. Oh, it's getting everywhere. I went to Disneyland like, like last weekend. It was fun. I had a really great time. California is amazing. I would move there in a second if I could, honestly. I was actually going to film in California but my GoPro decided not to work, so I did. I wound up filming nothing at all. But it felt good to not have to carry a phone with me, really, or like carry a camera, or worried about like worry about showing off for the internet that I was in Disneyland. Like I don't even think a lot of people knew I was there to begin with. There was a layover in Salt Lake City on the way back and Salt Lake City is a gorgeous. That airport was breathtaking. All the mountains and all the beauty of Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh. I was actually going to do an ASMR or a DIY video, but I figured I'd sit down and do a face mask with you guys and just really shoot the shit and tell you how life has been with me. So I'm just a really. I'm just a regular, regular, schmegular girl from the Bronx. This looks fine. I'm just like a really emotional person. Like, uh, I'm an emotional train wreck, and that's how life has been for me for the past few days. Just lots of crying and going to work and crying and going to sleep and crying. This is just a safe zone in which we could just talk to each other. Leave a comment. Tell me what you'd like to see in a video. I'm up for everything and anything. It says relax until the mask is fully dry at least 8 to 10 minutes. Then lift edges and start peeling. We could do that. Maybe.
So I just wanted to talk about a few things that I've been doing this week. One what is like watching Shane Dawson's documentary on Jake Paul. I have no interest in Jake Paul at all, but the documentary is fun. It's a good time. Even if you don't like Jake Paul, you should watch it because it's really interesting. Uh, Shane is just doing really great things, like impressed with his work. And uh, I hope that one day I could be like him. Yeah. Not that I'm a, a sociopath. Maybe I'm a sociopath. I'm sorry I'm not looking at you guys. I'm taking this shit off my hands. I feel it tightening on my face already. So that's a good sign, I guess. So since I got back from California, I've just been feeling really lonely these past few days, like really trying to decide what my purpose in life is. If your life is falling apart, do a, do a face mask. So that's where I'm at. Like I got Botox in my face. It comes down to like a few simple things. Like, I didn't really want to come back here, but here I am. <sighs> I can't wait to peel this. Not to sound cliche or anything, but all I ever wanted in life was to feel loved. Love life hasn't been going so well for me. I just want one person who's gonna love me forever. So hard to find one person. Facial mask review. And I can't even fucking get that to happen. Let's give it a whirl. So I started attempting the peel and it looks like it's working. I'm really happy. Uh, let's see if we could peel a bigger piece off. I really like peel off masks because I just like peeling things. My face does feel a little smooth right here, so that's I guess a good sign. <clears throat> My love life hasn't been always like fantastic. I've dated a lot of people. I'm not really proud of that, but it just is what it is. Uh, and there's nothing I could do to, well, I guess there's a lot that I could do to stop it. Lots of people always tell me I like kind of have my head up my ass when I have this idea of what I believe a relationship should be like. But then I read memes that are like, you know how you, like, you need to get what you want. not settle for like less than what you want, you know? But then I'm like, maybe I want too much. Maybe I want too much out of a relationship. Maybe I want too much out of my partner. Like maybe I just need to settle and be happy. But if I settle, I'm not happy. That's the problem. Who wants to settle? Like not me. I wonder how many people have settled my age right now. Like who's settled? Who's happy with their life? Who like who's unhappy with their life? That's a real good question. Sometimes when I'm like really, really in my feelings, I go for a drive to the beach. That really helps. I love the smell of, I love the smell of the water and like the breeze at night. Like I know a lot of people aren't fortunate enough to, aren't lucky enough to live by the water, but I live about, oh, that's my eyeball. I live about 30 minutes away from the beach and uh, it really helps me, honestly. It calms me down. I always read these blogs that are like, oh, when you're feeling depressed or like when you're feeling sad, take a deep breath and count to 10. And like that shit doesn't work for me. I'm impulsive and I get in the car and I just fucking drive. Like when I'm in a bad mood, I just drive. I just go as far, far away as I can because the last thing I want to be doing is sitting in my house by myself, reminding myself with my thoughts how fucking sad I am. No one wants to be sad, not that I know of. I sure as fuck don't. <clears throat> a matter of who you surround yourself with. Like, I'd rather be alone like 90% of the time, I guess. If that person's not making me happy with my life, you know, I'd rather be alone than like, I just want a positive relationship. See all these things that probably aren't real on Instagram and, and in movies and stuff. And you're like, wow, I really want that. It's unattainable. At the end of the day, I'm sure everybody just wants to be happy. Honestly, that's all I want. I 
if I can say I'm happy at the end of the day, I'll be okay. This is a look. I'm like not a person that people typically like. Oh wow, Sam, like she's cool now. That, that used to be me. It's not anymore. I'm not entirely mad at it. Cause like it keeps people that I don't want to be around out. But also there's another side of me that's like, fuck Sam, you pushed everyone away. You have no friends. Now what? I have a very like strange personality. Not a lot of people could tolerate my humor. Not a lot of people could tolerate me in general. I'm loud, I'm annoying. These are just a few phrases to describe me. I would recommend this mask only if you enjo really enjoy peeling things. Cause this is a lot of work for a mask. I thought I would just like pull up and pull off a little bit. The case is that you have to find like little pieces of a mask on your face to pull off. That doesn't mean I wouldn't use this mask again. If you're a person that doesn't enjoy like little flaky things, yeah. Then don't, then don't use this mask, you know? Atlanta's airport is really nice. I mean, really nice. They have like a Chick-fil-A in there and everything. It's perfect. You know that old saying, there's someone out there for everyone, but then there's people that say shit like, uh, let love find you. Like, how the fuck am I supposed to let love find me? Like, how does that happen? Please, someone enlighten me. I don't need to get gas from my car. It'll just appear there. God will provide. And maybe that's where I got fucked up. Too many romance movies about like the girl finding the guy, like, but I don't even want to find a guy. You think that's possible? Could be. Could be the reason. My ex used to call it white picket fence bullshit. That I just wanted like the perfect ideal life with my significant other. Is that too much to ask? Like to, to not have a perfect life, but to have a life that you envisioned for yourself? I just wanted things to be different from, from what I've lived and what I've seen, like I, what I've gone through. Like my parents are divorced. <laughs> Shocker there. Uh, and I don't want that for myself. Like I don't want divorce. I don't want separation. I want to love my partner unconditionally. Yeah, I know things aren't gonna be perfect. Life isn't perfect, but I want so much more than what I currently have. Maybe I my expectations are too high. It's a sad life. 2018. The sad life. This would be a cool costume, honestly. Like, check this look out. This would be a cool costume. Something I really don't like, therapy. I hate talking one-on-one -on -one with someone and going to therapy. I used to think it was gonna help me, like with my problems and stuff, but it really doesn't. Or maybe it's because I haven't had the right therapist yet. Maybe that's the problem. I haven't sat down with the right person to maybe even talk about the right things. White picket fence bullshit. That's what I want. I think that's about all I could get. It's in my shirt. This mask was actually really fun to do. Nice to peel off, actually. It was very relaxing for people who like peeling things off, remember. This mask is for people who enjoy peeling things. If you like peeling things like I do, run to Target right this second and get this fucking mask. Oh, I love applying witch hazel to my face. Gives me that ooh feeling. You know, witch hazel is just all in all really good for your face. You should probably use it. It removes excess oils. It really doesn't over dry your skin at all. So it gives you that like clean feeling. It gives me that clean feeling. I hope it does the same for all y'all. Witch hazel is just really underappreciated. And I think y'all should go out and appreciate it. You have a zit? Boom. Witch hazel. 
skin's too dry? Boom, witch hazel. Oh, your parents are getting a divorce? Boom, witch hazel. It really works in like every like simple social setting as well. Like, oh, hang on, guys, I'm gonna go, yeah, put some witch hazel on. Use it for spells if you get your if you want your crush to like you. Boom, witch hazel. Well, I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed filming this Saturday video together with you. I hope I could post it tonight, you know, so it's actually Saturday when I post it. If not, I will edit tonight and, you know, get it to you guys on Sunday. And I hope you enjoyed my TED Talk. Bye!